Top of the Buy Sports Port. Flyers chairman Ed Snyder, who's about 150 years old, went off on Stevie Eiserman in Hockey Canada today. Uh-oh. The old guy says Claude Giroux is better than half the team and should have been on there. He's also not a fan of the break taken for the bam. Saying, quote, it's ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. I don't care if it was in Philadelphia. I wouldn't want to break up the league. I think it's ridiculous. Dum, 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 dum. But do you think it's ridiculous? That's what I want to know. He never really answered that. Yesterday was a battle of the Canadian starting goalies at the bank between the Habs and Canucks. And guess what? Luongo lost. Dum, 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 dum. Big shock. Max Pacioretty. I think that's his name. He actually missed on two penalty shots but still had a hat trick. He still scored three goals. Missed on two penalty shots, though. C'est bon. Très bon. Très bon. Bien. Is it too late to throw Luongo off Team Canada? I mean, they've lost six straight. And it's not Torsi's fault. Were you being a wise ass? No, sir, I'm not. Just stating it's not your fault. It's Luongo's fault. Alleged crack-smoking 400-pound Toronto mayor, who's also drunk, Rob Ford, uh, wants all Canadians in uh, Sochi, all Canadian athletes in Sochi, to know he's proud of you. Dum, 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 dum. And suddenly a gold medal doesn't mean so much anymore. <laughs> At least Ford, he's proud of me. Even if I don't win anything. Former Falcons tight end and future Hall of Famer Tony Gonzalez says his old quarterback Matt Ryan is not elite. Dum, 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 dum. Not elite. Yeah, thanks. We've seen him play the last few years. Thanks for letting us know he's not elite. You both were like, what, 4-12 and last year? Yeah, I don't think elite quarterbacks are 4-12. and Unless you're like Eli Manning. But he even he wasn't 4-12. and The Bombers introduced, uh, introduced or introduced, whatever, uh, Drew Willie to the media as their starting quarterback of the future. LOL. Drew Willie. Drew <laughs> Willie. Uh, the Bombers say that, that it wasn't their third choice. Okay, it wasn't their third choice. He was always number one. That's not true. Because there was that Jimmy Davey and there was Wally Robbie. And then those guys weren't interested, so they went on and got to Drew Willie. And if Drew Willie would have said no, they would have called Ricky Bobby. That's what they would have done. Rachel Homan will face Chelsea Carey in the finals of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. I just can't believe it! That's going to be great. Can't they just, like, kiss instead of curling? They just make out a little bit. That'd be great. Ratings would be through the roof. I'd watch that. Just skip the curling makeout. This is why I never talk about curling. There's not enough of that. You know what I mean? It's just pretty hard, throwing rocks. It's not fun. Sunshine Girl Sarah is wearing a nightie, and it doesn't look like she's wearing anything on the bottom. Uh-oh. It's just, it's just, just the nightie. Unless that's some very creative photography on a Friday. Either way, it's, uh, I don't know, we'll take it. It's been a long week, right? That's all I got, 875-1061.